Tyler, the smell of funnel cakes and livestock has returned to the historic East Texas State Fairgrounds. How's that for contrast? And ahead of opening day tomorrow, KLTV7's Lauren Tier shows us what fairgoers can expect this year. And now's a good time to come have a great time. For the 106th time since opening in 1912, the East Texas State Fair will run from Friday, September 22nd through Sunday, October 1st. Food Row is already bustling with vendors selling everything that could possibly be deep fried, jumbo turkey legs, pizza, and more. President and CEO John Sykes says the location is part of what makes the fair so special. Tyler is a unique area. It's a beautiful area. And to have a fair with this history and, uh, and it's this reputation uh, draws people from all around the country. And the city, of course, benefits from these guests. Well, the economic impact on the community that an event like this brings is gigantic, probably in the 12 to $15 million range. The fair hosts several exhibits and livestock shows, as well as live music performances and their newest attraction, a butterfly encounter. In addition to the many food vendors and the livestock shows here at the fair, there is, of course, the carnival setup. And behind me, you can see the carousel and the ring of fire, two very iconic carnival rides. These along with many others will be up and running starting tomorrow for thousands of guests to enjoy until October 1st. Tyler PD is monitoring safety and traffic for the duration of the fair. So on Front Street, we are going to narrow it down to two lanes of traffic, one eastbound, one westbound, and we will have a center uh, divider which is to provide a crosswalk for pedestrians. There will be a drop-off pickup zone off the eastbound lane. The speed limit is reduced on Front Street. There will be officers at the crosswalks stopping traffic, so uh, we ask them to be, please be very cautious. Lauren Tier, KLTV 7 News. And police also tell us that the entrance to Rose Park Drive will be closed, but people will still have access to Mike Carter Field and Rose Stadium. But parking will be very limited, so guests are advised to park north of Front Street, where there will be advertised parking.